Now, you know I'm honest, upfront and open with every opinion I have on every issue. You don't have to agree with me. I don't have to agree with you. That's not how life works. But we love the debate, we love the discussion. That's how we learn and that's how we form our views. That's the point of shows like this. Now, you know I'm a bit of a warrior too on our energy madness, on climate change alarmism, on the disgraceful nanny state overreach of our governments. And I'm never going to stop fighting for common sense on these issues. I'll take on the ABC, I'll take on Kevin Rudd and Malcolm Turnbull, I'll take on Labor, the Greens, the Teals and even the Liberals. You've got to have the debates. And I know many of you disagree with me on The Voice. And we all know the debate's going to get even hotter over coming months. But let me just mention a couple of points on that. One is that you know I support The Voice. I never pretend otherwise. I'm up front. And the other point is that I share a full range of views on air on this program. I don't try just to give you one side. I hosted a special debate last year and we've kept up the conversation since then with regular guests who are voice opponents like my friends Warren Mundine and Jacinta Nampajimpa Price and people like Keith Pitt tonight and Pauline Hanson and members of the coalition opposition and other regular panellists. And I love the feedback we get on YouTube and on Facebook and on Instagram. Lots of flack, lots of support, sometimes some abuse. Fine. That's the game I'm in. But, you know, now that the rubber has started to hit the road on the voice debate, I'm starting to see a lot more stuff like this about how it would be very appropriate for me to actually resign from Sky and go across to Auntie. Even this suggestion that the Prime Minister has offered me a job at the ABC. And another one about how I'm showing my true Labor-loving loyalties and time for me to get over to the ABC. Me and Stan will have a lot in common. Well, Stan and I do get on pretty well. We've got to know each other actually working here together. But no, I'm not off to the ABC. I haven't got any black shirts, for starters. They've talked about inviting me back onto the insider's couch a couple of times, but they can't even bring themselves to follow through on that. So this ABC stuff is kind of fun, especially when you think about how it would go down at the ABC. Maybe they'd give me Media Watch. That would be fun. Anyway, some recent feedback, though, takes all this a little bit further. Sky needs to get rid of Kenny, says one message. And another says, I should be sacked because I'm useless now, apparently, because I support The Voice. Now, there are plenty more like that. Uh, now, you know that I've supported The Voice since 2015, by the way, when the Coalition was in government and long before Labor supported it. But the point is that... One of the things I rail against here every night is cancel culture. And I reckon most of you are with me on that fight too. So we shouldn't be cancelling people at Sky for having a different point of view, should we? And the thing is, if everyone agreed with everyone else here on Sky, if Peter agreed with Andrew, who agreed with me, and I agreed with Paul Murray and so on and so on, well, it would be no better than the ABC, where everyone has the same political outlook on all the crucial issues. We are different here. We value debate. We love the contest of ideas. We love to disagree respectfully. And we don't want to cancel people that we disagree with. Let me assure you, we inform ourselves on these issues all day, every day. Both Jacinta Nampajimba Price, for instance, and Peter Dutton have sat at my kitchen table and discussed these issues in private, in detail, in a search for solutions. We understand each other's views, we just happen to disagree at times. So I love that you watch this show and read my stuff and disagree with me, sure, rant at me, tell me I'm an idiot too, if you like, that's all fine. But let's not try to turn Sky into a conservative version of the ABC, a place of ideological and political conformity, an ideas monoculture. That's the leftist approach, one true way and intolerance for any other point of view. This is an organisation where all reasonable points of view are welcome, where debate is respectful and where ideas are contested. That's why I love my job. That's why I love sharing my opinions with you, along with the insights and different opinions of all of my guests. And that's why I love all your feedback, good and bad. But let's not push the cancel culture button. And please, please... Please don't send me to the ABC.